Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is product of array except itself. Uh, the question says given an array nums of n integers where n is more than 1, so it means that we don't need to consider any base cases. Um, return an array output such that output of i is equal to the product of all the elements of nums except nums of i. For example, in this case, for 1, the output should be product of 2, 3, and 4, which is 24. And let's say, for example, for 3, the output should be the product of 1, 2, and 4, which is 8. Right? Constraint, it's guaranteed that the product of the elements of any prefix or suffix of the array, including the whole array, fits in a 32-bit integer. It means that we don't really need to worry about the product going or overflowing beyond the uh, capacity of an integer. Please solve it without division and in O of n. Okay, so it means that we can only traverse through the array once. Follow up, could you solve it with com constant space complexity? The output array does not count as extra space for the purpose of space complexity analysis. All right, so this question clearly is a question on an unsorted array and we have a bunch of approaches that we have figured out. Uh, let's have a look at them. Please pause the video, have a look, and come back. So I think this is a very, very simple problem um, which requires a very simple and straightforward thinking. And um, uh, the simple array traversal approach should fit in here because we need to find a transformation of the array uh, that is basically all the elements representing the product of the other elements in the array. Um, so I think uh, that should be it. And we just need to think through about how we are going to do that in O of n uh, time complexity and without using any extra space. So let's get started. So I think the idea behind it is that So we're given these elements, right? So, so if we have to find the product of all the elements except that particular element, we can do it in parts like first try to find the product of all the elements on the left, right? And then merge that or multiply that with the product of all the elements on the right. So that is the basic idea. And if you look at this, so for the elements on the edges of the array, the product on the left and the product on the right would both be one. So let's say we, we start considering product of elements on the left. So this would be one for one because there are no elements on the left. Uh, and that is why we start from the first index or from the element two. Now for two, the product of elements to its left is one, right? Uh, so how we determine is that we basically want to consider the previous element multiplied by whatever is the product of elements on the left of the previous element, right? That would give us the product of all elements on the left of this element. So let's say for, okay, so let's say for three, we can calculate it with, so one is the product of elements, sorry about that. One is the product of elements to the left of one, or uh, left of two, and two is to the left of three. So we multiply two by one, and that gives us two, which is the product of elements on left of three. And similarly for four, if we just do two multiplied by three, because 2 is the product of all elements to the left of 3. And that multiplied by 3 comprises of all the elements on the left of 4. And that is why it gives us a 6. Now, we would need an output array. So we can store this in the output array, right? We can create another array of the same size and just do this computation. But then when we talk about the product of elements on the right, what we will do is that we can just take a variable because one way of doing it could be we create another array to store the product of elements on the right in a similar fashion. But then that would be using two 
arrays, right? So uh, if, if you want to do it in constant space complexity, then we can just use a variable. And what we will do is in a similar way for four, it would be one, right? So for three, it would be four into one into two, because two is for all the elements on the left. So four into two into one, and we'll just multiply that, update uh, the, uh, the array that we will be forming on step one, and then we'll update this particular variable which will carry the product of elements on the left on the right so yeah let's implement it and see how it goes okay so first of all let's just create another array of the same size right Okay, now uh, as I was saying, we need to we need to start from the first index and not the zeroth. So th we, that's what we'll do. Okay, okay. Um, sorry. Yeah. So this. As I said, we need to start it from one. And also we need to set prod of zero equals one because, yeah. Okay, so now what we do is uh, simply we just say that I, so as we discussed, is the product of prod of I minus one right which is one in this case and multiplied by nums of i minus one so what we are saying is for three we want it to be two into one which is prod of i minus one into nums of i minus one okay now let's take another variable for example called temp okay so, so now we'll be taking care of the product of elements on the right, but that we'll be trying to do it using just a variable, okay? So similarly, we just start with i from the end of the array, right? Minus two, because um, length minus one would be four, but we want to start from three, so it's two i is greater than equal to zero and i minus minus all right so now what we do is now we have to update this again right so what we'll do is that for product of i so temp in our case right now is one we have already assigned it one and we are starting from three. So we want to say that this should be updated with four into one into whatever it holds already, okay? So we'll say that just multiply it with whatever it is holding with an i plus one, the next element, right? And temp. Cool. So temp here becomes, is one, so one into four into two. Now, what we want to do is that we want to ensure that temp carries the product of elements on the right. So we will also update temp and multiply it with nums of, okay. So now we want to update this with the latest so when we when we are actually uh, working on the two element we want this to store the product of elements on the right of three so that's why what we do is that we multiply it with nums of i plus one mm, yeah i think so 
yeah we want to multiply this with 4 so 1 into 4 and it will give us a 4 yeah and then when we go for 2 we will be doing a 3 into 4 into 1 which will give us a 12 okay yeah I think it should work okay so fine now we just have to return okay so let's just try and run this and see if this works Okay, oops, nums, sorry about that. Okay. All right, let's try submitting. Great. So I think. Uh, it's pretty clear the time complexity is O of uh, n here and the space complexity is O of 1 because we have just used one variable and one array which is the output array itself. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful and if you have please like share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.